What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy Humble Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And hey, we back here again with Mr. CJ the Champ. Y'all already know we always rock with him and such. But I always rock with him. I don't know about y'all. But if it's your first time seeing him, make sure y'all go subscribe to the man. Because trust me, the fact that he pumps these out and these gets a whole lot of views and such. You can see that he's putting in the work. But either way, we better just check this out. This is the most disrespectful moments in anime history. It's number six. And trust me, he's done the he's done a lot of these. So and it's like this. Don't bother trying to make me if y'all gonna want me to react to one two five, don't bother because I've already probably I've already watched like the other ones and such, so no point in that. But either way. We better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Cause God no, bro. <laughs> this is when it just went from zero to a hundred. This man's Popovich started whooping. Bro started to hit it with the combos. Hit put, good oh. check, make it. Oh, I lost this Jesus. Somebody get in the ring and help this bitch. Already the crazy ass intro. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history. Let's says, go. The series that we observe some of the most outlandish, vile, and disgusting acts ever committed and to be seen by the human eye. And since this is episode six, why not put six moments instead of four? Because <laughs> y'all be liking these long ass videos. I don't know why, but hey, I mean, if you like them, I guess I'll keep on doing them. But anyways, bro, I mean, uh, let's just go ahead and get started. I mean, literally, bro, at the time of this recording, right? This got uploaded uploaded three days ago, but within 24 hours and such, right? Or with it, yeah, basically within 24 hours, this bitch already had like a million views. And right now, in three days now, three days in now, it's at 1.2 million. That's how crazy, crazy his channel views gets and such. Like, god damn. So we're getting Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, Bleach, Dragon Ball Z, Classroom of the Elite, and Cyber Edge, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. And trust me, I can already tell when it comes to the Cyberpunk Edge Runners one, it's gonna talk about how David was coming up from the gutter and being one of the top Cyberpunks in the game. The other ones, it is what it is. But all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it. our first moment. Itachi little bro and Sasuke. Mm. Ah, yes, the time where we didn't know anything. The mm. time that we thought that this man killed his entire clan for absolutely no reason at all. But anyways, as we know, Itachi and Kisame pulled up to the leaf and they was not playing games, bro. Before mm. they even got to Naruto, this man Itachi put Kakashi in the nastiest mm. Genjutsu. He was stabbing this nigga for 72 hours. Bro, put Damn. this man on the stake. Absolutely torturing, bro. And he was like, Oh my, Kakashi. Don't give up on me now. We're just getting started. We still have 71 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds left. And this man, Kakashi, like, Oh, nah, bro. You telling me it's only been one second? Oh, scare me! Oh, my God! So after he finished torturing this man for basically three days in the water, Tsukiyomi, mm. bro pulls up on Naruto and he's like, Hey, what's good, little nigga? Go on and uh, huh, take a step outside for us real quick. Yes, that's right. Mm, Sami had us drooling from the mouth. It can't wait to gobble you up and swallow you. Yo, Kisame, shut the f*** up. Hey, yo. Uh, this nigga pain really partnered me with this zesty ass shark. Mm, you're such a buzzkill, Itachi. Have some fun. So then Sasuke pulls up, and bro is absolutely livid. And this man Itachi like, oh wow, look who it is. If it is my adolescent pain in the ass little brother. <laughs> Looks like you are not that much of a bitch than the last time I saw your little punk ass. So this man Sasuke just rushes this man with a Chidori. But bro slaps his sh to the side and grabs his hand. It's like this, right? I don't care if it's anime or real life, nigga. Let's face it. 
the big bro little bro thing in life trust me little bro can always try to want to get up always try to want to get revenge on his little bro basically though, with the little bro big bro thing the big bro is always going to teach the little bro like nigga sit the fuck down i'm bigger than you i'm older than you you respond to me nigga not the other way around and he's like, wow, <laughs> is this all you got, little nigga? I really left your sorry ass alive for this. So bro shatters his wrist and looks at him and he says, I have no interest in you, little boy. So bro kicks this man across the entire hallway and he got this man slumped sitting in tornado drill position up against the wall. But then Sasuke got up again and started talking. So he started running at man's. But Itachi was like, little boy, if you don't sit the down, and bro started beating him. And Naruto's just watching it like, oh my god, this nigga is beating his ass. <laughs> Thank god I don't have any family. Even Jiraiya was like, damn, <laughs> could it be me? You gonna have to get six niggas to jump me. Poor Shadow and that's a motherfucker. <laughs> Then Itachi picks this man up and starts choking him on the wall. And he says, oh, as weak as ever, I see. Looks like you still a little punk ass bitch. Damn. Allow me to remind you of that day. <laughs> uh, hello? Hey, yo, where is everybody at? This better not be no damn prank. Yo, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, God, why is everybody passed out right now? Hmm. I wonder why. Uh, oh, God, no. Auntie? Uncle? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Them niggas ain't breathing. Them, them niggas dead. <gasps> yeah, shoot me, nigga. I just teleported to this big ass fucking door. Why are you shaking in my boots? Wait, wait. I don't even have my fucking shoes. <laughs> Why are my toes out? Really? Hello? Mom? Dad? <laughs> oh, what do we have here? If it isn't my little brother. Hey. Hey, bro, what the f going on? <laughs> nigga, are you blind? <laughs> I obviously killed these niggas. But, 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 but why? <laughs> Oh, so little do you know, Sasuke. To save you the trouble, I'll start off with mother. That lazy, lousy bitch. <coughs> Always making me do the chores. Folding the laundry, washing the dishes. Sasuke, do you know how fucking old that shit gets? And with no allowance. But I mean... Do you know how many times they always telling me to want to wash dishes and shit? Like, where's my allowance, huh? From it's like this. I'm 22. From the many times they always telling me, and not just my mom, just both of them, my mom and my dad. Do you know how many times they has always telling me to go wash dishes? And you know, and it's like this. It's with Caribbean, and it's like this with Caribbean parents. Especially Caribbean moms, and especially Jamaican moms. They tell you go wash the dishes and what them do? Put it and as soon as when you're done, right? What them do? They make them put in back another one just for like that be irritating like a mother. But brother, those are just chores. Shut up. Damn. No, Hit him with a shit. Bother. This lazy clown of a bum. Just the other day, I caught him flirting with a red-haired woman from the Uzumaki clan. To say the least, little brother, he was cheating. <laughs> I, 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 impossible! No, Sasuke. Very possible. Now I shall make you watch them die for 24 hours. <laughs> you smell that, Sasuke? That Uchiha pack is hitting. <laughs> hey, Itachi's putting that little nigga through the ringer. The fact that so, the fact that Itachi put that nigga, I said, what he called it? A uh, sorry, 
don't get at me y'all i haven't watched naruto as much and such so forgive me but the fact that he put him in that trance put him back in that time where itachi basically killed his whole entire village and most importantly his mom and dad crazy hi right, ladies and gentlemen our next moment Killer B dog walking Sasuke. <laughs> okay, bro, bro. I swear I didn't mean to put Sasuke getting dogged twice in a row, but Damn. this moment right here, you knew when I first started this series, this was going to come eventually. But anyways, Sasuke and his new little ragtag crew, or basically what I like to call them Orochimaru's illegitimate children, decide to pull up on B. Now this man B just vibing, bro. He's just chilling, relaxing, enjoying his- Hey, if you know- if Hey, anytime when I see Killer B now, I can just think to the to Game Boy Jones song. You know who I be? I was buzzing when I first started. Then when I was something. Come on, man. If you don't think it, I'm just saying. Anytime when I see Killer B now, I gotta sing Game Boy Jones. I see Game Boy Jones in this. And then his ops just pull up to his front door. Hey, boy. You the Eight Tails Ginger kid, right? <laughs> Not just eight tails, Lord eight tails the fuck. What the fuck y'all niggas doing on my goddamn lawn, man? Simple, we're about to jump you. Oh, okay, okay, I get the situation. But before we do that though, y'all heard that new white spice? Oh, <laughs> what? Exactly. You thought I was killing you? No. Damn, Hey, bro, if you don't shut the fuck up, nobody ain't trying. The f the f and you know what's the craziest thing, right? The fact that I saw the thumbnail for this, and I literally saw one of her lyrics saying, you thought I was feeling you, that nigga a munch, literally in that, right? I, the fact that I saw that, and it was with King Killer Killer B on it, I should have known, I should have known he was going to strap. You really put a, you really put freaking Ice Spice Munch song on. You thought I was feeling you? Hey, bro, if you don't shut the fuck up, nobody ain't try to hear that shit. Man, shut your hating ass up. You just mad because you ain't a munch. Oh God, somebody hold me back. I'm about to suck the fuck out of this goofy ass nigga. <laughs> goofy. <laughs> Let me see. Through my telescope, I see one, two, three, four. Four goofy ah niggas on my front door. Mm. Hey, bro, how about we just quit playing and jump this Dr. Seuss Horton his who rhyming ass nigga? You ain't gotta tell me twice, cut. So they just start jumping B and everybody's just getting mollywopped. Bro started twirling the sword on his neck and was just whacking man's like a Beyblade. He Damn. packed this man Jugo up so fast, threw him like a piece of trash, then proceeded to just start dissing him. So then Sasuke finally stepped up. He was like, all right, then, <laughs> come on, run that fade, then. So they start doing all this spinning and stuff. And then they end up stopping. And this man B pulls out a whole ass notepad and starts writing in the middle of a fight. Hey, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, my bad, my boy. Hold on one second. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that right now. <laughs> my bad, my boy. <laughs> I just had to write down this fire ass verse before I cook your ass. Damn. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. <laughs> No. Sorry about that, y'all. That was my sister who came in and such, so apologize for that. But either way, back to it. No, 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 bro. This man took the time to start writing down a whole verse mid-fight. The straight-up lack of respect is appalling. Imagine that. That's kind of on the same level of how Gojo literally, in the middle of his fight with Jogo, Went to go get Ichidori, come back, just to give out a lesson on how to whoop a nigga that whoop his ass. And then man, that that's on the in a way that's on the same level. It's one thing to it's one thing to like pause in the middle of the fight, go get one of your students and try to and teach him how to whoop a whoop a person's ass. But here's the thing though, that one was just with a teacher in moment. This one, this ain't no teacher in moment. This is just whoop a nigga ass moment. But knowing that you that nigga and you can cook him when you want to, the fact that he pull out a freaking book just to write a verse before he before he ends you. Nah, that's this was that is disrespectful.
to a maximum. First mid fight, the straight up lack of respect is appalling. Imagine you fighting a nigga and he say, oh my bad bro, my mama calling, can you hold real quick? Bro stop the fade cause he know he's still gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> Yeah. Nah, bro. That is wild. That's just disrespectful as hell. So then this man starts using nine sword style and just starts Seven running swords, Sasuke's yeah. pocket. Bro is bagging up for his life. Even Sasuke like, oh god, my shark I can't keep up with this nigga. So bro started tossing him around, countered his Chidori, and this dude was like, ah, like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Mm. So then Sasuke gets bailed out for the first time in this fight. And I say first time because this man got bailed out multiple times this fight. So then he started munching on Karin. So then they was like, all right, bro, there's only one way to beat this man. We just gonna have to jump him. So they started jumping him and this man is still teeing off on him. Look at this movement diff. So they finally- And especially when it's a black character, nah. One thing is for sure, I don't care. Look, Racer, I'm just saying, I gotta say, nigga, the fact that it's a black character y'all wanna jump, that's your first mistake right there. Y'all really, y'all really think y'all just gonna jump on a black nigga like this? And think it's sweet? Nah, fuck out of here. He ended up landing a hit, so he dipped off for a minute. I was like, hmm, so persistent, bum ass niggas, but we smoke that Zaza, just motherfucker, that Uchi hot pack be hit hard, just motherfucker, nigga. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but. <laughs> So bro goes eight kills, blasts these niggas off of the mountain. Sasuke tries to hit him with a genjutsu, but bro bypasses it and gives this man the nastiest clothesline, bro. Damn. His throat is gone, shattered, eviscerated. W that means his jaw is broken. And they like, oh my God, impossible. Sasuke's getting his pockets ran. Where the f is the plot armor, nigga? So then B goes into full on. You would think that Sasuke would have plot armor because the many times but the thing is right he's more of like the secondary main character to me because the main main character is naruto so great but the many times man it's just great <laughs> it's what? eight tails mode then he starts fighting sue gets to win this big ass kaiju battle so mm. bro's like who the f you think you was aquaman nigga i eat damn amphibian motherfucker i got something for you uh Hey, Cardi B in this bitch. Why the frick did I say Cardi B? I meant to say Playboy Cardi. God damn it. Because the beat sounded like that, that one of that dialect songs and such. Hey, bro, what was that? Ugh, I think B hit him with that yeet bell. Oh my god, bro, he absolutely blasted this man. He literally turned this man into nut. Pause, but look at him. Even Dang. Sasuke like, oh my god, bro. We ran up on the wrong nigga. But I mean, you we think? don't know how this fight ended. That plot armor kicked in for Sasuke and he started oh, burning man with a Matarasu. But come on, bro. We all know, bro, this man got whooped. If none of his crew was there, his ass would have been grass. Because the fact that this man took the time out of his day to write some bars down right in front of your face, then proceeded to whoop your ass? Nah, bro, you should have been six feet under. I'm not even saying All right, uh, next up on the program, Grim Jar running Ichigo's pockets. Well, I mean, since uh, Bleach is back, why not put some Bleach in here? But first of all, we need to acknowledge the fact that this man Grim Jow is a absolute smoke demon. I mean, you can tell this is a crazy ass nigga just by his last name. Jagger Jack? I can't even pronounce that shit. That's how you know he a demon. But anyways, Waco Mundo's most notorious op ended up pulling up on Ichigo and Rukia. And dog wasn't wasting no time. Bro was like, all right, listen up. Uh, which one of y'all the strongest? Like straight up, like don't waste my time. So bro straight up fist is Ruk. I'm reacting, close the door. Hmm? I'm reacting, close the door. Yeah, I go work to today, mom. I'm close, close the door, mom. Yeah, after today, so. Sunday. <laughs> anyway, so he's on his Kenpachi vibe. Which one of y'all the strongest? Like straight up, like don't waste my time. So bro, straight up, fist is Rukia in the stomach. 
Ooh, that ain't a she looking like my stomach. That ain't a that ain't a fist. That nigga was that nigga wedged him. <laughs> that nigga wedged her. He hurt. And Grimjaw like, oh, huh. guess it ain't your weak ass. Go ahead and uh, move to the side for me, will you? So then Ichigo tried to attack him, but bro stopped it with his wrist. And bro's like, bro, if you don't get this fat ass butter knife off of me, hey, bro, for real though, uh, when you gonna use your bankai? Huh? Like for real, bro. Come on now, transform. You bullshit. You wasting time. Now come on now, chop chop before I put a hole in your ass like that bitch over there. So they started to get the scrapping, and this man Ichigo looked like he could just not keep up at all. Bro grabbed his sword mid swing and looked at him like, really? Is this your bankai, nigga? Man, if you don't get this sorry ass shit out of my face, bro was for real throwing man's like a rag doll. Then he read this man's movement like a book, grabbed his sword mid swing again, mm -hmm. then he kicked. Nigga, that's three times now he grabbed your shit. And the other one was just with his wrist. Nigga. Yeah, at this point, you might as well just go full Kenpachi mode. Cause that nigga didn't care if he had a bankai or anything or any type of spiritual technique or whatever. All Kimpanchi did was freaking go straight up black air force energy mode. Just straight up started kicking the shit out of you. Start whooping your ass. You see why he hold the You see why he held his sword with just one hand and no not with two hands and such. Cause this nigga was just on full black air force energy. Fuck okay. He was like Fuck a goddamn man! You should just went for fucking Pachi mode. Fuck all of that. His movement like a book. Grabbed his sword mid swing again. Then he kicked the life out of bro. Made him do a whole 360. And he sent man's flying, doing backflips and shit. Made him run a red light. Then man's blitzed him and kicked the soul out of him. And Ichigo looking like, damn. Maybe this soul reaper life ain't for me. <laughs> Why you think you know like the substitute reaper, nigga? But no, no. You see, it just got worse from here. Grimjow started walking him down, picked him up, and started laying the hands on him. Like, yo, it got bad. so bad, it started playing this sad-ass music in the background, and Ichigo was just thinking about his life. Damn. Girl got slapped by another nigga. Rukia got fisted right in front of him. Damn. I guess I'm just not him right now. Damn. God dog boy, that all you got? You was not big creeping. You sure you the protagonist? Cause that was a little too easy, my boy. Hey boy, time to go home. Oh shit. Tosin, what's your blonde black ass doing here? Hey boy, I was mad. I ain't gonna hold you, cuz. We gotta get back to base pronto. Shit, sure, alright then. Hey, hey, before I leave though, hey boy, you best remember my name, the Waco Mundo Demon. You best come back and get it back in blood, or else you a bitch. So that's, so that's who Waco Mundo. Waco Mundo. I really gotta start watching back some bleach, man. Especially with the thousand year blood right, that come out. Uh, next up on the program. Spopovich rocking Vidal's world. Yeah, I, I'm bringing this one out, bro. Like I said earlier with the B one, this was just inevitable. Ladies and gentlemen, the most brutal beat down in anime history. So as we know, it's the World Martial Arts Tournament and Videl has to fight Spokovich. And yeah, <laughs> something was wrong with this shit from the jump. I mean, look at this nigga. Motherfucker look like a buff ass crackhead with an M tattooed on his head. So they started fighting. Like, I mean, look at the science difference. I don't care if you're, I don't care if you have some kind of powers and such nigga. Just Sometimes when they say size, hold on, I want to make sure y'all actually hearing me. Sometimes when they say size doesn't matter, nigga, when it comes to certain situations like this, yes, the fuck it does. The nigga, this nigga stop, spoke, spoke off of it or whatever. He looks like a Brock Lesnar and this, and Videl looks like a Rey Mysterio. Now, it just don't match right there. If we're, if we're talking in my realm of WWE talk, He's a Brock, you know, Brock, Brock Lesnar. He's a 500 pound, he's the big show, and he's Rey Mysterio. The girl was team off on man. And maybe he might get some easy money at the beginning. But something was terribly wrong. Bro was not going down at all. And I love how Goku and Vegeta were the first people to notice something was wrong. Goku looked at this like, yo, you seeing this shit right now? Yeah. Hey, that M tattoo on his forehead, I kind of I think I'll go.
So, of course, this man Gohan was oblivious. I was like, yeah, that's my girl, y'all. <laughs> that's your girl. You got this, boo. But then Goku said, yo, she should quit right now. Wait, Dad, what you mean? Yeah, Goku, what the f*** you mean about that? Krillin, shut the f*** up. I'm talking to my son right now. Gohan, tell yo girl to quit right now. Or you gonna <laughs> regret it, my boy. Look at her, she's getting her shit. <laughs> Damn, got bitch hey, slapped. Hey, you best get the f*** up. I ain't letting no pussy-ass bitch me, my son. Yeah, that's right. Tell her, Chi-Chi. So then Videl starts flying, right? So then Gohan started to get happy again, but then this man Goku said, hm, stupid idiot, she should just fell out the f***ing ring. Dad, come on, bro. You've been gone for seven f***ing years and you already causing problems and shit. Yep, and guess what? I'm still your daddy, bitch. Father knows best. I mean, look at him. Come on. He doesn't even look sane. So then Videl kicked this man's head so far. His head did a 180. But then, bro, got back up and fixed his head. Nope, nope, nope. This is when you should have quit. God, no, bro. This is when it just went from zero to 100. The this fact, man's pope. The fact that this nigga literally twisted. Nah, fuck that being anime or not, nigga. Imagine somebody just coming up to you, right? And you straight up kick their head and they and you twisted a 180. But then somehow, yeah, you can't even say this is by the act of God or anything. You can't say that shit. Some fucking how this nigga twisted his head. Shit, sorry. <laughs> this nigga twisted his head back into place. Man, you about to get your ass full. Bro started whooping. Bro started to hit it with the combos. Hit oh, put. Oh, check. Me. Oh, oh, Lord, sweet Jesus. Somebody get in the ring and help this bitch. Then bro started hitting her with more combos. Then he broke her back. Then bro started beating her. No, bro, this is stupid. Bro picked her up again and said, and everybody in the crowd can't watch no more. Everybody that's when like, you hey, know. Yo, just stop the fight, bro. Then he hit him with. Bro, that's when you know it's vicious. Hold on, let me fix. That is when you know it's a vicious ass fight. The fact that if everybody in the crowd is like, nigga, what the fuck is this? You see everybody in the crowd, right? Look at that. Everybody in the crowd, like, nigga, what the fuck? How the hell we are allowing this? How we are allowing this? Stop this match. Everybody. She don't even want to look. He's in gas. He's in gas. He's in gas. She's in gas. Everybody's in gas. And everybody in the crowd can't watch no more. Everybody like, hey, yo, just stop the fight, bro. Then he hit him with the knee. Oh, my God, bro. GG, GG, GG. Game over. Then. then this man, Gohan, just started getting mad, bro. But Goku was like, I, 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 don't do it. I told you to tell him to quit, but he didn't want to listen to me. Now you're going to have to watch it. Bro, this was just terrible. Bro started stomping on her. Uh, head. Hell nah. but then the other crackhead, Yamu, came in and said, hey, it's Bubba, bitch. Quit playing with a little stupid ass and uh, just go ahead and kick her off the ring. Oh, man. Damn. Oh, oh it's over. Thank you, baby Jesus. <laughs> so then Gohan came out, and this man, Spopovich, looked at him like, <laughs> How does it feel that your girl got her back blown out by me before you? Nah, that's... Fuck that. Fuck a fight, nigga. Fuck this tournament of power. I'm gonna have to... We gonna have to run. We gonna run these hands. But no, fuck a run these hands. I'm gonna... Shoot your ass, cause you made my girl. You you talking about blowing out her backside, y'all? Talking about blowing her back before I did. Nah, fuck all that. Shoot your ass. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next up, Ayana Koji body in class C. So this man Ryun, right? He got old girl up in here getting tortured. Bro pouring this cold ass water on her in this cold room. Trying to give her hypothermia or something. And he throw that sh Lord, somebody please come and help this little girl. Mm. So they trying to get this man Ayana Koji to come out because he's a mastermind of his class. So bro pulls up outside of the place and this big ass nigga, God damn, what the f is they feeding you? W what are you doing at some random high school in Japan? Man, take your ass and I don't know where you want to go, the NBA or the NFL. I mean, shit, you can choose, my nigga. You want to play linebacker or you want to play power forward? And his Does name is Albert? Oh. Nah. If some... Nah. First of all, 
don't worry y'all i'm still hearing this even though you see me putting it like this because let's face it that damn undertaker sound effect well you know you already know somehow or another he might have one in here so i ain't taking the chance but hold up you need to tell me and i hope y'all still hearing me but you need to tell me that you see a us for backup you see a nigga like him and his name is Albert. You got a nigga like him with a white name like Albert. Nah, something wrong right there. Anime or not, nigga, no I know damn well no what no black person, no black nigga. Let me put it let me put it like that in specific. No black nigga would ever would be named Albert. You want to play linebacker or you want to play power forward? And his name is Albert? Oh, no, no, no. Don't make me do it, bro. Hey, hey, hey. It's bad. I'm really? Fat Albert? Nah. But that's for damn sure. But for shit sure, he ain't fat. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Ain't no way in hell you the mastermind. This shit, I say that you can speak while you wouldn't miss in my presence. Uh, uh, no, no. That's right with all that gibber jabbery shit. Shut the f up. Damn. So I got this text message that one of my tools from my toolbox has gone missing. What? Hold, hold on, tool? Yes, <laughs> tool the f You know, goodness and well, I've been using her since day one. I literally set her up to get jumped, watched her get her ass beat, then blackmailed her right after it. Hey, bro, that's kind of devious. Yes, I know. Cause I'm a devious ass nigga. Alright bro, you may be devious, but uh, you about to get jumped. <laughs> jumped? No. You see, you got it all wrong. Because all of you have fallen into my trap. I personally am about to be all of y'all asses with no effort. Please don't jump my baby! Come get your ass off me. <laughs> okay, I like you, boy. Hey, sick him and take his chain. <laughs> Nothing personal. But I'm about to run your pot. Oh, oh, oh just with Jesus, help me. <sighs> hey, hey, hey! Come on, boy. We uh, Albert, you best with that nigga ass, you D1 prospect. <sighs> I ain't a coochie cook. <laughs> oh, oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> you are not allowed to have Albert ever again. You can name yourself something else, but don't ever call yourself Albert again. You just got, you getting your ass. Whoop. Do that. And the nigga wearing glasses. Oh, not bad. He just beat Albert, a D1 prospect going to Alabama to play linebacker. So which one of y'all next, Mrs. Boldcut or you, f nigga? Damn. I know Cabrera. I mean, it's going. Somebody do something. Let brother go home. Let me go to sleep. Now, it's just me and you, fuck nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, coming from my fade. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Come on, bro. Don't tell me they hyped you up all this time just to be trash. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga, stop playing with my name. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you like that? I got you pinned on a wall. If you don't stop talking with your hot ass breath, get your unhygienic ass off me. Damn. Damn. What the hell? Perfect. Didn't even stood a chance. Life bar went. His life bar didn't even move an inch. Not even an inch. With the wrong nigga. Yes, you yeah, did. This man Ryun just got humbled real quick. Bro took top mount and just started beating him. But while bro was getting the sense beat out of him, he just started rambling about like just feelings and stuff. Bro was like, how do you feel, huh? How do you feel? And this man Aya Nakoji looking at him like, uh, excuse me, but uh, the f are you talking about? Why should I show any emotion to get some weak ass trash like you? Just go ahead and just shut your mouth. Damn. Nigga said. You can talk all that. This is this is the perfect example of how a real nigga and a bitch ass nigga could not communicate to one another. Cause if a real nigga pulls up to you and you still and you as the bitch ass nigga still want to talk talk and such like you all that, especially when you just saw the real nigga just beat your goons down like within. Ease, right? 
and then you want to and then when it comes down to just you and him he just pimps he just bitch slaps you in the sense of just showing you that nigga you ain't shit Started GTA in that nigga wasted. But nah, I and a Koji beat the soul out of this nigga. Beat him physically and mentally. mentally. Look at him after the fight. Damn. Bro looking like a Debbie Downer. All his spirit is just gone. Bro got his ass beat so bad he was about to drop out. And then you got a girl right here like, eh, bro, what you nigga? Where's a man I used to know? That man gone, shorty. I'm a different man now. <laughs> you bitch ass nigga. You ain't worth it. Damn. You gonna click. You gonna play a Drake song after that? Damn. <laughs> Damn. The fact that you got your... First of all, you... You little miss hoe. I can tell you ain't a... She ain't. I can tell by even though if I haven't watched the anime yet, I can tell that her ass... She's just a... She just... One of those, like, gold digger hoes. Ain't worth it. Sorry about that. Ah boy, here we go. Ma'am, this little Martinez motherfucker is out of control and he needs to be put down now. Jerome, calm down, I know. That's why I'm calling him. Him? Who is him? Jerome, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Him. The cyber psycho himself. Oh, oh God, ma'am, oh hell no. Yes, that's right, Jerome, him. And we don't even have to call him because he's already here. The cyber psycho himself. Hey, hey what the fuck? Oh no, hey yo, when did this big ass Decepticon ass nigga get in here? Oh Jerome, he's been here the whole time. He's just so powerful, you can't even sense his presence. Wait, what? That, that makes no sense. Jerome, can you process anything with all that chrome in your fucking dome? This is an anime nigga, nothing makes sense. Capiche? Adam, get your ass up. Time to go to work, you full metal nigga. Take Jerome with you. <laughs> I'm not an alchemist, bitch. So just call me Fool Nigga. Fool Metal, metal Nigga. Fool Metal Nigga. Oh God, why did I sign up for this job? Stand back, Jerome. <laughs> you see, my evil plans. <laughs> shut your mouth, fugly. Mm, David. <laughs> David really shut his ass up. Bro, I swear to God, this nigga right here was foul from the start. Fact that when freaking Maine and them was in a way acquired by him, you can I can already tell from when I was looking at him, one way or another he was gonna get clocked. And boy oh boy did David ever clock this shit. Well not even he didn't even have to touch a touch a buck. Didn't even have to touch a muscle on his as and he just tell that nigga to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Shut your mouth, fugly. Adam Smasher, please help me. Excuse me, but who the f are you? Ugh, pardon? You ugly three eyed looking nigga. You better shut the f up before I put a motherfucking bullet in your motherfucking skull. Please. You're not telling me not to speak. I'm reacting. Close the door. So you're the yeah, full yeah, metal. Adam you see me react? Damn right. You see me reacting. Close the door. Bye. Bye, mommy. Close the door. Yeah, I see why I hate when she doing this. Anyway. So you're the full metal nigga, <laughs> Adam Smasher. Damn right, boy. And you're a nobody. Do you want to know why you're the main character of a prequel? Simple. Because you don't make it to the actual game. Damn. <laughs> That's bullshit. Okay, let's not waste any time. Just shut the fuck up and let me make you a pack. Five Damn. minutes later. Oh, baby, you so fine. When we get back to the crib, I'm beating up them booty cheeks. Welcome back here, Romeo and Juliet. You star cross sons of bitches. <laughs> Shakespeare made you a pack and so will I. Oh my god, y'all made it. Now get in the car so we can have our happy ending. <laughs> Lord have mercy, making me go through all this shit for your dumb ass. Oh, 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 Foolish girl, trying to challenge me. You see, here's what I'm going to do to you. 
I am about to key back the shit out of you. Damn. And drag my metal clone nuts across your fucking forehead. Nothing personal. But I have a reputation and a name that I have to keep in good standing. Adam, smash her. Straight up demolish Rebecca. Oh, Martine has come out to play. Don't you want to end up like your little girly friend? Smashed and made into a piece of meat. <laughs> Can't even show the body or else I'll probably get a guideline strike. You big team tosser. Yeah, let's face it. If you would have shown up, I've seen it on the show. If you would have shown it in real life, not, if you would have showed it right there, yeah, YouTube going to be like, oh, hell nah. CJ, we warned your ass before. You you see where you at? You at 1.28 million? You going you gonna to stop. Unless you want your channel to get demonetized or get a copyright strike, you gonna stop. You gonna not show that shit. But yeah, let's face it, Adam Smasher. The fact that at the end of the episode and such, right, man, it's crazy. That nigga just showed David that nigga. You think you're the? With all due respect, I love David, right? I love this come up from how he was a ghetto kid. In the trenches up to this big body nigga now big body nigga and such but let's face it i ain't saying devin is a this is an look i'm not saying devin is a bitch ass nigga now that's for damn sure i'm not saying but let's face the facts it's like this this now is a definition of the ultimate real nigga <laughs> Versus just a regular real nigga. <laughs> Can't even show the body or else I'll probably get a guideline strike. <laughs> you big team too soon to be? There's how you came to play. Your day no right, are mine. Wait, you have a saying devastating? Damn right, little nigga. <laughs> you think you special or some shit? I told you, you're just a prequel character. Look at you on the ground. Now get ready to bend over. Oh, hell no. Huh? <laughs> Are you trying to hack me, bitch? Mm. I have two step authentication. Fuck off of my server. Oh god. Access no. denied. Bang. <gasps> Where the hell do you think you're going, pussy nigga? <sighs> Get the fuck off of my screen! Eat my middle dick! Bang. <laughs> Look at you. You're just scrap. I told you you wouldn't make the main game. Your sorry ass will just be remembered as a drink in the bar that nobody goes to. <laughs> at, at, at least my jack is a DLC. Yeah, like anybody's gonna wear that shit. Eat a dick. Damn. I'm surprised he didn't name that one, did he? Nah, he didn't, so. But yo, shout out to CJ the Champ, man. Let's face it. I'm gonna say this, right? I don't care about the, the other ones are cool. Don't get it twisted, they are cool. But let's face the fact. The fact that when this nigga's Adam Smasher just rolled up, to show that David, you think you was the hot shit, nigga? Nah, I'm the old. Why you think he? Why you think nobody has ever caught him yet? Because nigga, he he's the OG of the cybernetic world. He's the OG of the cyber psychos. But hey, y'all, uh, y'all, let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. And shout out to CJ the Champ, man. Keep on doing what you're doing, bro. Cause goddamn it, the way how you be pumping these out. And the many views you be getting, crazy. But yeah, hope y'all love this video, man. Y'all make sure y'all leave a like on it. Subscribe, comment down below with any, any probably old CJ the Champ ones you want me to react to and such. But not like these and such, because I've already probably watched it. Probably already seen the other rest, but comment down below any old ones you want me to watch. But either way, 
Mini Boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.